Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, you guys. So I'm here taking care of your daily message for the last day in February, February the 28th, you guys. Check out the description box. All the important information that you'll want to know is down below. Um, yeah, let's get into it though. You'll see my social media handle at the bottom of your screen, you guys. Definitely um, join me over there. I post additional messages and content so but yeah let's see what the energy is surrounding cancer y'all i don't know it's feeling very bright right now i'm just gonna tell you what i'm feeling okay um it's feeling very bright i'm telling you it's a pretty day where i am in north carolina uh you know it feels like it's it's spring y'all it's feeling like spring has sprung all right um and so you remember we talked about things lightening up um so i'm kind of feeling that shift you guys i feel like you know you can come out of that seasonal depression i know it could have been like lingering over some people um but yeah so let's see what the energy is we're ending out February, getting ready to usher in a new month, y'all. I love it. New month, new energy, new goals, new levels, new everything, okay? We here for it. Um, but let's see. Thank you, spirit. Mm, that home card wanted to show itself, y'all. You definitely, because um, I can relate to that, you definitely may be changing something about your home, you guys. So, um, but yeah, let's see what comes up. All right. Oh, I love it. So we got Majestic that came out. Yes, look, you are, and this is like so on point with the weekly reading that I just posted, y'all. If you haven't um, seen it, definitely check it out because it's definitely like um, a time of personal evolution. Majestic is the energy that came out um, challenging the status quo. And I feel like you challenging the status quo is challenging what everybody else thinks or wants of you and going on um your own journey you know kind of blazing your own path your own your trail your own trail you know um following only things that bring you joy bring you joy uh this is your own life story it's really really a week of like ownership y'all i feel like that's been it's been nailed down into our heads <laughs> and so i'm like relaying the message to you it's definitely feeling like a you season right now okay it's definitely a you week it's time to focus on you your life story um your own unique interests your personal evolution that's the energy of this majestic and y'all so the underlying energy is expansive and so remember like i said in the weekly reading y'all the more that you do this the more that you come into you who you are authentically and just allow yourself to be you know without the cares of whatever anyone else has to say or think about it that's how um these things that you are desiring are being attracted to you okay and so that's what um sparks this expansion where things grow especially if you are um in entrepreneurship um you know or trying to like put yourself out there scale some type of mission that's the energy that's coming up underlying so like i say y'all it's it's just feeling very um it's it's like very personal like and don't take it personal but it's very personal okay <laughs> it's very very personal so let's see what message comes up for cancers today spirit okay i'm not gonna say that um but yeah like i said y'all there it like there's a sense of um entrepreneurship or like whatever you're doing in regards to how you make money your work whatever you're focusing on i see that like leveling up in some way for you cancer so um that's why you're needing to focus on yourself focusing on what you desire because it's like you have you have the um you have the the idea the knowledge the know-how the like you have the gift here right okay but so yeah i'm gonna stop running my mouth and get the cards my <laughs> um let's see what message do you have for cancers 
So y'all, and that's so funny because this same combination came out like uh, in the weekly reading with the page of uh, wands and the dreamer. So y'all, you could definitely be getting some type of news about a new start that you can, a new start for yourself where you can, um, you know, kind of be yourself. It does feel like you're going to be walking through a new door. A new door is being open to you. You're taking a leap of faith here. Um, cancer if you don't get anything else the message here i feel like it's saying like you may not know the end goal but as long as you follow your passions follow what makes you happy what brings you joy following that wholeheartedly um is going to like you can't make a wrong choice doing that okay you can't make a wrong choice um it definitely feels like there could be some type of opportunity that presents itself i feel like there's some type of door that's open to you or you've opened some type of door you've unlocked some type of door because um of your your creativity your enthusiasm uh, okay like you staying optimistic so when i said in the weekly reading y'all like be happy that that came up in the last i feel like the last weekly reading like be happy just be be happy um follow what makes you genuinely happy and 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 so when i say be happy like i i'm not trying to make it seem like you can just turn on the switch and be happy it does take effort you do have to like it's a choice it's a choice that you can make it's a choice that you can make for yourself but that's what it feels like here you know you just like something has really really ignited your your passion your drive your and that's what you're needing to follow personally you know um this feels very very personal like i'm saying it feels like a journey for sure for yourself okay um give me one more here for cancers <clears throat> what's the message here for cancer what's the message here for cancer spirit um, some of you may have, okay, so two, I just got this. Some of you may have, um, some of you may have started something, right? And you haven't finished it or yeah, it's like you, you may have like started something, you slacked on it. Um, you had an idea, but you didn't like really go for it. It's like, it's time now to finish what you start. I feel like this, the energy now is definitely moving you to, um, finish what it is that you start so this high priestess popped out here you guys and see um this high priestess is definitely giving me the energy the vibe like i'm saying um your intuition trusting your intuition one about how you're moving forward following your desires this ace of pentacles showed up you guys so it does feel like an opportunity for some it definitely feels like in regards to work or what you do for like how you make your money um it definitely feels like, yeah, this could be the news about this opportunity coming in. But like I said, with this high priestess coming in, you're having to really, really turn inward. Okay. Turn inward and trust your soul's true desires because that's what, that's what you're following now. So it's like, this is how you should, um, kind of gauge anything that you do moving forward. Does it bring me joy? Do I want to do this? Am I doing it for me? Is it satisfying me? Um, I feel like, you know, checking with that, your soul's true desire here. And that's what's going to, um, be able to guide you too through this like mystical it feels like definitely very unknown territory okay um develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom that you're receiving you guys so it you know it's definitely a time of of trusting your um trusting your intuition meditating um balance 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 is a key word as well like I said, I feel like some things could be going on, um, like more than one thing in your life. And it's like you need to, you know, find the, the balance. But Cancer, the chariot, that's all, you know, they multitask. That's a, that is the chariot. So, um, <laughs> and look at the tower trying to pop out here. Yeah, Cancer, we moving. <laughs> Clear about the page of wands. Why is this page of wands here for Cancer? It's like, um, you may too, Cancer, be going for something. Yeah, okay. So this is definitely a past idea too. And it may have not gone to plan before. Like you, you may have not got the success that you wanted before. This does definitely feel like you're revisiting some type of old idea from before. Um, old con um, situation from before. 
some old dreamer plan and working it in a different way and i'm telling you if you allow your um some of you are going back to a childhood dream of yours and um allow allow your mind to navigate it in a different way i do feel like you'll you'll see the success that it is that you're trying to see now this time around um it's kind of almost like it was destined to so like your guardian angel definitely has a hand in this like they're behind you definitely giving you the wisdom can't say that's so why i said um you're gonna want to definitely it's like your your intuition you're developing your intuition and you're going to want to like work with it so your intuition is like a muscle you guys you know the more you work with it the more easier it is the more range of motion you got and the more flexibility all of that but once you start moving um you know it gets harder it gets harder so i definitely feel like this is a time where you're wanting to um really really develop that because that's what's leading you for on your journey and as i mean like y'all and i was really gonna post this on instagram today i might have to um even though it's just for it's coming up for the cancers you know it could be for the collective it's like you're really really needing to on your journey forward you may not see you know which way you may not feel that you know exactly which way to go but as long as you follow what makes you happy what brings you joy um that is what's going to expand your life that's what's going to um mature you and definitely see the moon the moon card came up here at the bottom of the deck y'all we got the new moon coming up as well of course you know i'll be back and do your reading for that hopefully yeah i plan to i really do plan to this time um but yeah the moon energy so you guys this could definitely be the time and remember that came up in the room i was saying you want to start working with the moon cycles um you know medicine or manifesting releasing you know working with the moon cycle because cancer you are the moon child you know so these definitely you could definitely be feeling like um you're getting some like refinement on ideas dreams that you've had in the past in these next couple of days because the new moon happens this week um so yeah i can't say and look in this high priestess <laughs> it is a new moon above her head so, yeah, Cancer. Um, I'll definitely be back with that reading to see what message comes up. But it feels like definitely, it's like you're getting a second chance at an old dream. And this time it's going to like take off. It's going to expand the way that you would, um, the way that you would have it to, the way that you wanted it to before, I feel like. Um, but this is like, it was, it was a part of your story here. You know, it's a part of your, you know, and I don't know, this might sound vain. I don't mean it in a vain, a vain way, but you know how, well, you may not do it, but I do. Sometimes I think about like where I'll be in like 40 years and like what my story will, like if I'm, you know, somebody that's of some influence or whatever, and they like put my story on TV or whatever, like, what is my story going to say? Or, you know, what all... You know, when you think about that, um, and you don't want your story, I mean, I'm, this sounds bad, you don't want your story to be boring, but, you know, when, it's like when you have the odds against you, or you have, like, the story is just that, that much more captivating. Nobody really pays attention to your success story when they feel like, you know, you were supposed to have it, but, like, when you have the experiences that you've gone through, the, you know, the stuff that you overcame, people can relate to that more. And y'all see what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I can't, I can't, I don't know how to make what I'm saying make sense. So, if you got it, hopefully, probably, but if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to pull a final message here for Cancers for today. Um, But that's what it just felt like. I'm hearing that song, Um, The Rest Is Still Unwritten by Natasha Benningfield. The rest is still unwritten. That song, yeah. That's that's what's going on here. It's like you're, but you're like rewriting your story. That's the beauty of it. Rewriting it and like, uh, rewriting it and ch like changing the narrative. I'll say that. Changing the narrative. Changing the narrative. So one final message here for Cancer. Um, one final message. I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> Am I consistently showing up? Ooh, I feel a little red. <laughs> um, so y'all, the message is some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. 
success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it. And even when it feels uncomfortable, it takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent to your dream. Um, so today's soul action, you guys, says to journal where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soulful goals then show up y'all so that might have just been for me because i feel like real real old told i ain't even gonna lie I ain't even gonna lie. I feel a little told, but look, this on the top here, what passion am I ready to pursue? And I feel like that's what you're moving towards, pursuing your passions, okay? So I'm gonna I'm read you this message because that felt real personal, okay? So your message, your, <laughs> your passions will continually lead you to your purpose, okay? And that's what I'm saying. You want to you you if you feel like you don't know what your purpose is this is how you find it okay you follow the things that make you happy the things that bring you joy the things that you're passionate about the things that you care about like it'll lead you on the next okay it's a journey but it'll lead you okay um what passions have you put to the side given up on see yeah this was y'all message spirit you didn't have to embarrass me like that because i'm gonna show up for y'all in march okay I'm going to show up and I'm going to be a little more consistent, okay? But see, this is why I was talking about cancer. Um, you know, I feel like you're getting a second chance in an old dream. Something that... And you know, it's so funny, y'all. Like yesterday... Okay, I'm going to wrap it up, I promise. But like yesterday on Twitter, somebody had like asked, you know, if you had stayed the course. If you had stayed the course, what would you be right now? And you know, and a lot of... And, and when you think about it, because if I had stayed the course... What would like, wow, what would I be right now? But a lot of us, sometimes we give up or, you, you know, we lose sight or we, it gets uncomfortable or it gets too hard. And then we like change our own direction. See, and you may have done that. You may have like taken an easy way out before cancer, but now your passion is calling you and like make, like it's chasing you down. It's going to make you acknowledge it. So now you're not being able to run away from it. So once show up for it, <laughs> um, but it's like, yeah, definitely there it's time to finish what you started before. Okay. That's that was the message. So just X that unless you needed it, but it felt very, very personal. Okay. Um, so what it says, what passion is ready to come alive in you? Right? So today's soul action says, write a list of passions to which you want to give life right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dreams. So yeah, it's a whisper, y'all. It's very faint. That's why you got to get quiet in a quiet place. Meditate, turn inward to what your soul's truly desire. Um, yeah, but... It's time, it's time It's time. to pursue these passions, y'all. I just posted a message on Instagram. Like, some of you could definitely be holding on. That's what it could be. You're holding on to your light, your passion. And instead of um, putting it out there, putting it on display, letting it show and letting it grow and multiply and bring you um, success and bless other people too, you know, um, you're holding on to it. Like, you're hogging it to yourself. And it's like, no, we can't do that. We got to put it out there. So, this is the week. This is the month, this is the year that we focus on you, the cancer, okay? So, yes, y'all, um, I'm, I'm hoping that you're ready to pursue your passions. If you need help getting started, you guys, I do offer mentoring and coaching. If you're interested, you can book a 15-minute consultation with me. It's absolutely free to see if I can be of some assistance. It's the link down in the description box below, you guys. Um, join Box Lady B Soul School. It's up and running and going. Um, but, yeah, you guys. If you're interested in the entrepreneur reading, it's down a link down in the description box as well. Make sure um, if you haven't already, join me on my personal YouTube channel, you guys. I plan to be posting that reading, or not that reading, that a video about how I manifested $10,000. So if y'all are interested in that, definitely make sure that you join me over on my personal channel. The link is down in the description box. Everything is down in the description box below, y'all everything every single thing everything like it's a little lengthy because i like it's everything okay but yeah i'm gonna leave it there you guys i really really hope that this reading resonated with someone and you found it helpful please feel free to like share subscribe to the channel if you have not already okay i would love to have you a part of this all cancerian vibe family join you boo um but yeah i'm gonna leave it here in the meantime in between time until next time i love you